All right, now we're doing seven Q cats and shelves. This is by Real Sup, and eighty-five percent of the people like it. Uh, we've got an infinite number of shelves arranged one another, one above another, in a staggered fashion. Uh, we want to find out how this cat can jump to the one to the finish uh, shelf, I guess, right? And every time a j cat jumps, it can either jump one or three times, but it can't do two because it will hit its head. All right? So for this one, we're going to change this into concise syntax. A const solution equals start finish. And then we're going to have an arrow right here, and the rest of it's out of here. All right? So we're going to start by uh, declaring a variable. We're going to declare a vari variable... Uh, that's the difference, so difference between these two. And difference equals finish minus start, all right? And then after that, we're going to come down here and say console.log so we can test easy, all right? And uh, so first, let's just see what start and finish look like. So let's say what start looks like, test it out. All right, start's going to be one, and then finish will be probably five. All right, test it out. There we go. All right, so what we want to do here is we're going to want to uh, divide the difference by three, right? Because no matter what, it's going to be jumping until it can't jump three anymore. It's going to jump three times, right? And so when it gets to one like this one, it's going to have to jump two at the end. Or if it jumps to one like this, it's going to have to jump by one at the end. Jump by one at the end. So we're going to do something like this. We're going to say difference. Let's get it over here. Difference uh, divided by three. But we're going to, you know, we can't, sometimes it's going to not be an integer. So we're going to need to round down using this math.floor function which always rounds down and returns the largest integer less than or equal to a given number. All right, so we're going to say difference, wrap this up in parentheses, and say math.floor. All right, so once we do that, so let's say it's this many times, right? So it's going to do one, and since there's one, two, three, four, five, it's going to still have two jumps left. So because of that, all we have to do is say uh, plus difference uh, remainder operator three all right so that way if it has two left it'll jump two left and if it has one left it'll jump one left let's see if this works test it out two and it's supposed to equal two all right good so let's get this out of here let's take this put this up here test it out looks good all right attempt it Submit it. All right. And you see it's just like, well, that is me. But uh, this one does an is integer sum and then math.round. Okay. Well, that's cool, I guess. Uh, this one does a while loop, which I guess that's cool. Uh, and anyway, there's, there's some good ones. Whatever. Uh, let's go over to mine. Just me on this one. Best practice, in my opinion. Very much like this. And we'll see you next time.